This tutorial demonstrates how to run a Principal Component Analysis, or PCA, using Transmart. In a PCA, the total number of variables in the dataset is reduced to a smaller number of variables, or the principal components of the dataset. Principal component variables are calculated from correlated variables in the total dataset. The Principal Component Analysis is a workflow used to identify variants in a dataset. The analysis can run on a microarray chip or on a pathway. To perform a PCA, run Transmart and click the Dataset Explorer tab in the top menu. Open the Public Studies folder to see what data you have to work with. For this example, we will be working with the Breast Cancer Study by Sorley. We now need to drag data into the Subset 1 comparison box. I will drag the entire Sorley dataset folder into subset 1 because I want to use all of the samples in the study for my analysis. When you run your analysis, you can choose to expand the study folder and only drag particular samples from the study into the subset 1 boxes. It's important to note that in PCA, only the information you place into the subset 1 boxes will be considered. Any data dragged into the subset 2 boxes will be ignored. Click the Advanced Workflow tab. You will see a button labeled Analysis. Click the button to open a dropdown and select PCA. We now need to define the PCA variable by dragging high dimensional data into the PCA variable box. We'll need to go back to the breast cancer study by Sorley to find the high dimensional data. Under the main Sorley folder, expand the biomarker data folder, the gene expression folder, and the Stanford cDNA microarrays folder. We now see the high dimensional data. High dimensional data is marked by a DNA symbol to the left. Drag the high dimensional data into the PCA variable box. Be sure to click the High Dimensional Data button, or else your analysis will not work. When you click the button, a Compare Subsets Pathway selection pop-up will appear. Make selections that suit the needs of your analysis. For this example, I will be using the default settings. When you are happy with your selections, click the Apply Selections button. Now click the Run button. Your analysis will take a moment to process. Your analysis will appear below. Scroll down to view the results. The Component Summary table displays the orthogonal components that your data has been broken into and how much of the overall variance they are contributing to the variance in the total data set. This is known as the percent variance. The scree plot graphs the variance contribution by orthogonal components. The gene list table lists genes that make up each of the orthogonal components. To save your PCA analysis, click the Save to PDF button. This concludes the tutorial.